हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर वसीम आय खान असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर श्री शिवाजी लॉ कॉलेज परभणी महाराष्ट्र इंडिया सो इन टुडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अ सेकंड कॉज ऑफ क्राइम दैट इज हेरिडिटी एज अ कॉज ऑफ क्राइम कि हाउ हेरिडिटी इज वन ऑफ द रीजन बिहाइंड द कमीशन ऑफ ऑफेंस वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस लेक्चर सो लेट स्टार्ट द टॉपिक causes of crime and in this lecture we will discuss heredity as a cause of crime so sometimes heredity plays a very important role in the commission of crime as per many criminologists so we will discuss what exactly the role of heredity in the commission of crime is there many studies by criminologists have been made to establish a relationship between the delinquent behavior and heredity many criminologists has conducted a various studies to come to conclusion what is the role of criminality and heredity what is like what is the exact relationship between the criminal behavior and the heredity is there there are equally opposing findings on this subject so after conducting the studies many criminologists conducted the studies uh, to find out the relationship between the crime and heredity but they found the uh, equal opposite finding some of the criminologists said after making the study that there is no relationship between heredity and crime and some of the criminologists has uh, contended that there is a strong relationship between the heredity and crime in 1877 richard dugdale made a study of family called the jukes and a mentally retarded family and focused attention on poor heredity as a factor of for crime so to come to know what exactly the role of uh, heredity in the commission of crime richard dugdale made a study in the year of 1877 and he made a study of family called the jukes family which is a mentally retarded family and he tries to uh, know what exactly the uh, role of heredity in the commission of crime is there so he conducted the study of a family named jukes a mentally retarded family the person named max married one ada jukes an illegitimate girl and then produced number of descendants so a um, person whose name is max married one ada jukes who, who is a illegitimate girl and then produced a number of descendants so by the relationship of max and ada jukes who is a illegitimate girl they produced a number of uh, descendants and Dugdale traced well over one thousand descendants, and all of them were found to be a criminal. So Richard Dugdale traced out about one thousand direct descendants from the relationship of Ada Jukes and Max, and he found them to be a criminal. So Ada Jukes came to be known as the mother of criminals, and after conducting this study, Ada Jukes uh, came to be known as the mother of a criminal of the 1000 descendants were found 280 paupers 60 thieves 7 murderers 140 other criminals 50 prostitutes 4 uh, 40 vd patients and other deviants so the uh, richard dugdale traced out over 1000 descendants from the relationship of max and ada jukes and he founds 280 as a paupers out of 1000 60 as a thieves out of 1000 7 murderers 140 other criminals 50 prostitutes and 440 visually uh, vd uh, patients and other deviants it means uh, um, uh, from the 1000 most of them associated with some of the criminal activities it means he tries to know the relationship between the criminality and heredity and he come to know he comes to conclusion that there is a relationship between heredity and crime second study made by the godar godar reported in his study the kalikak family the martin kalikak met a feeble minded girl during the war and become a father of a feeble minded son from her so rich uh, godar uh, made a study of kalikak family and uh, he uh, mentioned in his study that martin kalikak met a feeble minded girl during the war and become the father of a feeble minded son so martin kalikak met a feeble minded girl during the war 
and with the relationship of Martin Kalikak and that feeble-minded girl, uh, they produced a one son. By the year 1912, there were 480 known direct descendants from Union and he found that 143 of them were feeble-minded and many other were illegitimate by birth, alcoholic and prostitutes. So, by the, by the year 1912, the Godad trace out 480 known direct descendants from the, Martin, from the relationship of Martin Kalikak and feeble-minded girl and he found 143 out of them as a feeble minded it means martin kalikak made a feeble minded girl and from the association of them the 480 uh, direct descendant trace out by the godar out of them 143 uh, were a feeble minded and many other were illegitimate by birth alcoholic and prostitutes from that fact we comes to know that there is a relationship between the heredity and the behavior of a person so as the uh, that particular girl was a feeble minded who met a martin kalikak and from their relationship 480 direct descendants were there and all of them associated with some illegal activities so returning to war, Mr. Kalikak married a respectable girl from a good family and from this union also Godar traced 496 descendants and found that they there were no feeble-minded person instead found that, that many of them were lawyers, doctors, judges and other distinguished persons. So after returning from the war, Mr. Kalikak married a respectable girl from a good family and from that particular union also Godar traced out 496 descendants and found that there were no feeble minded person and instead he found that most of them were lawyer, doctor, judges and other distinguished person. It means the Martin Kalikak was the same. At one side he met a feeble minded girl and from that relationship most of the person were associated with the crime and on the other hand, Martin Kalikak met a respectable girl and from that association, the descendants were a distinguished person, lawyers, judges and doctors. It means there is a certain kind of relationship between the heredity and the behavior of a person. And that's why he tries to know that the Heredity is also one of the reasons behind the commission of offense. However, the above studies cannot be said to be based on sound methodology to establish delinquent behavior as a heredity as a cause of crime. But the criticism made over that particular studies and he said that whatever the studies conducted by the criminologists to know what exactly the role of heredity and crime that was not based on sound methodology and that's why we cannot come to proper conclusion that the heredity and uh, crime is having any kind of relationship. The study made by Murchison in 1924 revealed that there was no such direct relationship between intelligence and crime. After conducting the studies in 1924, Murchison came to conclusion that there is no direct relationship between the crime and heredity even though it is impossible to determine the exact role of heredity in the commission of crime this factor cannot be entirely neglected or ruled out so it is Im quite impossible to know the exact role of heredity in the commission of crime but we cannot entirely ruled out that particular factor so it means sometimes heredity may be one of the reason behind the commission of crime. We cannot rule out entirely that factor. It, it has however been admitted by criminologists that certain physical and mental traits may be inherited which can directly result in delinquent behavior. But most of the criminologists admitted that fact that certain physical and mental traits may be inherited from the father and forefathers and which can directly result in delinquent behavior. Those factors which inherited by the person from the father and forefather, then that factor may 
directly result in delinquent behavior so that was the contention of a criminologist so in this way uh, we tries to know what exactly the role of heredity in the commission of crime i hope you understand this topic if you understand this topic please subscribe my channel hit the notification button hit the like button and share this video with your friends thank you thank you very much